Shalom. In one of my previous video, I came across uh, a scripture in Jubilee's 23rd chapter, and it mentions the Father's name. And it's it said that they would name the great name. And I said in that video that I will come back and touch on it. And this is what I'm doing here. Um, what you see in here is the Father's name. Uh, the Yah, Hey, U, Hey. And this name is, it gets so much uh, confusion behind this name. Because a lot of people haven't really done the research. They haven't studied Hebrew. And they, they just they just don't understand. But what I'm going to show here, the fact that his name is uh, what it is. And according to the scripture, you know, the wicked shall name this name, but it won't be in truth and it, and it won't be in righteousness. And, you know, you wonder why we're getting all these different names and everybody, you know, they, they making up names as we go. But again, you know, they, the wicked will name this great name and this will be the only name that they name that won't that will be not in truth and in righteousness. And, and I'm going to go to that scripture now here in Jubilees 23 and the 21st verse. And I'm not going to read all of it. I'm going to just read the point that I need out of it. And it says, and they shall name the great name. And this day is the wicked. The wicked shall name this great name, but not in truth and not in righteousness. So this name has to be named by the wicked, but it won't be in truth and it won't be in righteousness, meaning you will not have the true name. You may have part of the true meaning, but you will not have the true name. It's going to be deception in it. And here's another key point. Um, they shall defile the Kadash of Kadash. So they're going to be in the land defiling the land with their uncleanness and the corruption of their pollution. And this goes back to what Yahushua said uh, when he said, Jerusalem shall be trotted down by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So this is what we are seeing here. And now I'm going to show you them naming this name. Okay, this is the Tectogrammaton. Um, many don't understand the technogrammaton this is just something that they came up with this is something that they did and i'm going to show you here this is the y for yacht the h for hey the y the modern y see this is where some deception comes in at because with this w this is why i did that video there is no letter w in hebrew i did that for a reason so people could you know think that this when they use a W in any Hebrew word that it's not, it's not real Hebrew. So this should be a, a, a U here. And the U is the, is the U. The, the H for the hey. So we, that's, this is where you get the Yah, hey, U, hey. And um, this is, of course, this is it in Paleo. And this is the Paleo. And this is your your modern here. Okay, now listen what it says. Uh, it consists of four letters, and probably pronounced Y A H W E Y. Now see, here's the deception right here. So you're you're naming the correct name with the Hebrew letters here, because these are the correct Hebrew letters. But you're not doing it in truth and in righteousness because we're coming up with this this other name here that that I cannot I would I refuse to say because it's giving props to the enemy and it's the name of another mighty one. And I'm gonna continue here. Alright, this is the names of G-O-D in Judaism. And again, this is you know, they uphold this tectogrammaton. And the tectogrammaton itself is deception in it, but if it's used the correct way, then you know what name it is. But if, if, if it's used incorrectly, YHWH, that's not the father's name. That is not the father's name. And on top of the list, of course, it's got number one here, YHWH. 
So, you know, again, they're naming this name, but they're not naming it in truth and in righteousness. And this is, of course, is the, this great deception. And for that reason, people don't know what the true name is because they don't understand Hebrew. Okay, so here's a question here. This is J-E-H-O-V-A. And a lot of the Christians use this name. And here we is here we are with the same the same tectogrammaton. I'm trying to get in here where you can see it. The Y H W H. And so how how is it that we're getting different names here? We had the Y A H W E Y. Now we got J E H O V A H. So we're coming up with 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 different names here. And again, they're naming the name, but not in truth and not in righteousness. Now let's let's go. I'm gonna show you the. This is the the H3068, and then this is the father's name. And I'm going to let you I'm, I'm gonna let you listen uh, to him as he pronounces it. And this is how this is how they're pronouncing it on here. Strong's H 3068. Yehovah. Yehovah. I mean, again, now what you have to ask yourself, what is that? This is another name. And when it's another name, you're not talking about the, the true name. You, you're off here. This is the deception. Now I want to show, and I made mention of this before. This, the H3063, this is uh, Yehuda. Now, Yehuda has, Yehuda has the same letters of the father except the Dalit is added. You have the Yah, the He, the U, the Dalit, and the He. So if you remove the Dalit, you have your, your Y. The uh the yard the hay the oo and the hay that's his the, the father's name, and so the dalit means and this is what I mentioned in videos before it means door. If you look up that word, what it means it means door. So this word here, Yehuda, is the doorway to the father's name, and there's no other name that's that doorway. Now what's what's really funny is. You have people calling themselves Judah. I'm from the tribe of Judah. Well, we know the letter J is flawed because it's it's you know we we get we got that uh, that's one of the newest letters we got that when we learned about J E S U S. So the letter J is 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 not in Hebrew. And so where are you getting Judah from? You're calling yourself Judah. That name came from Yehuda, and Yehuda is the doorway to the Father's name. And again, there's no other name. And now I want you, this is, this is very important here. Because if you get this, it, it kills the confusion. And they're trying very hard to hide this name. And we have to dig and dig and dig to get to the truth. You can't, you can't get to the truth by surfacing everything. Some things you have to dig deep. Now watch this. Let's listen to how he pronounced this one. Strong's H three thousand sixty three. Yehuda. 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 He is saying the correct pronunciation. Yehuda. You take the duh off, you got uh. Yahua. So it's 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 clear right here, and there should be no more confusion concerning this name. And I'm gonna go into a lot of other names. I'm going to hit those other names probably after I do this. I'm going to hit some of those other names that's being used. Um, right off the top, you, I can kill any name that have a W in it. They're dead. But right here, I want you to hear this again. And you can you can come here and, and you can see this for yourself. But I want you to hear it again. Strong's H3063. Yehuda. Yehuda. Now, if he can pronounce Yehuda, you take the Dalit off, you got Yahuwah. So, again, this is done purposely. 
They're naming the name, they're naming the great name, but they are not naming this name in truth and in righteousness. And we that have eyes to see and ears to hear, this is clear to us. And again, I'm, I'm getting ready to touch on those other names because it's, it's very important. There's people that's calling on other names and they're thinking they have the correct name. And it's a, it's a, it's a deception because it's coming from Israelites that know and understand the truth. But they just won't dig into the research and the study of the Hebrew language for themselves. This is something really that you have to, to do for yourself. And then you got others that saying, well, nobody knows the name and he's going to get a new name. It doesn't matter what his name is. Listen to Isaiah 52 and six. He says, therefore, my people shall know my name. Listen at that. They, they shall know my name. He want us to know his name. That's a, one more other point I need to make since I'm, I'm quoting the scripture. Uh, if you notice all of the, 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 the Jewish people, they, they, you know, they the one came up with all these different names. They say he have many names. Well, according to scripture, every place he talks about his name is singular. So there is no many names. He have one name. It is, it's singular. Uh, so that, you, you know, we can, we can kill that many names thing. And, you know, they, they come up with all these names just to hide the true name but i'm gonna go ahead and go into the next video and show the the one and only true name that's being hidden and it's i mean again you know it's it's no mystery i'm gonna make another point here uh i got a little time the fact that some people call on different names than others they don't want to communicate or conversate with with people that don't use the same name that they use i believe that's a that's a flaw that's a huge huge flaw if we believe if we agree and believe in the torah that should be that should be all that that matters because someone calls on another name that should not separate us and here is a, a scripture for that psalms 138 and 2 he says, for you have magnified your word above all your name. So his word is magnified above his name. So if we can agree on his word, then we should be able to communicate and we should be able to listen and hear each other out. But the problem is you have men that have this pride thing and they don't want to admit that they're wrong. Let me tell you something. We're going to be wrong. We're going to be wrong sometime. That's why I tell you guys. Do your own research. I can't stress that enough. I may come on here. When I come on here, I mostly give scripture and I, I talk less. Because if you talk less, it's less room for mistakes. So that's why I give mostly scriptures when you hear me speak on here. And I don't do a lot of talking. Th that makes too much room for mistakes. The more talking you do, the more mistakes that will be made. You're going to say things that's just not correct. That's just how it is. We're imperfect beings. Because of the fall... Of, of the first man that you know that fell on all of us and so we, there's a level of imperfection that we all operate in but the thing is you know you have to do your own research on these things and don't accept what anyone tell you go back do your own research shalom